<laughs> oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your well, late Captain Hillian uh, today because, well, my sleep schedule is still fucked. And along with... Please remind Lieutenant Rekir at your service. <laughs> and... Made wrong. <laughs> And welcome back, uh, no, no, welcome back, but welcome to Showcase Sunday, uh, Sunday, Showcase Sunday number 104, I believe. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll just correct the title once this goes up on YouTube. But uh, yeah, what we do in Showcase Sunday is we try a, a, a few games, typically for sometimes more, <laughs> at the frames a bit, uh, for about half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming at another time. And yeah, we've been busy with a few games that we have showcased recently, like Dark Side Detective, and or did, yeah, we showcased that and Whispering Willows, as well as Deadbolt. So yeah, we are getting some good ones out of this. So although some of those, like Deadbolt, were already on the to-do <laughs> to stream list, so yeah, it, it just adds a good number to it. And yeah. yeah, the first game we have today is Plate Up, which I think most people will already know. This is basically one of those cooking chaos games, like Overcooked. And yeah, you can play it with friends. I believe you, yeah, you, you can play it up to four people, I believe. And basically what's going on with this is, yeah, you're running a restaurant which has a randomized floor pan. Oh. And let's see up there. <clears throat> now I recognize it fully. Yeah, th this is the roguelite one. So, yeah. Yeah, I've seen some VTubers and, uh, of course, worst pre-made ever play it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I also remember seeing uh, C-Dubs play, play like this with a bunch of friends. And it's like, one of them joked about being Harry Potter working at a failing burger restaurant. So I'm like, oh, and the other, and the, and the guy who owned the video was like, Failing. <laughs> yeah, basically, this game with three others is just mayhem all the time. And I'm trying to pick up these damn things, but I can't seem to find the button for it. Let me see. If, why the hell does it? Why the hell does it show you those? Look, look at the left. Act? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving with WASD. Let me see. Okay, let's do that then. So yeah, you you pick a randomized uh, layout, then well from a few recipes, more get unlocked as you go, and then well you hope for the other best. The plan. <laughs> okay, cook steak once for rare, twice for medium, and three times for well done. Recipes can be viewed anytime in the pause menu. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, the good gods. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? A booking desk. Okay, you can upgrade things and buy stuff like this. Uh, no clue what button I need to use now to actually take this thing, but there are quite some strategies that you can try with this. And uh, yeah, let's just run <laughs> the name. We meet again. Yeah, that, that's what I reacted to. Let's just run one day and we'll... <laughs> as a bit of an example for people who don't know about this and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes yeah this one is probably not gonna be a long showcase since yeah it's, it's probably best shown with more than one person i mean a complete clusterfuck is one of those yeah it's best if it's like with a bunch of people yeah, yeah. This, this, so, this is a mayhem. Uh, this is a mayhem stream game. Yeah, and it's gonna probably be surprisingly calm when it's just one person. Uh, all right, I got through the door. Uh, there, uh, interact. Okay. The, the the thing with this game is though is as soon as you fail to serve one customer like one of however many there are uh, you will fail no matter if you manage to serve like massive amounts of other people up, you know most of the other time as soon as one unsatisfied customer is you know leaves the well you're screwed okay put the plate there put that there I know this business is kind of harsh but yeah not that harsh yeah Okay, they want one of those, so 
plates. And yeah, they don't care if you leave the foods without a plate for a while. Oh no, now I remember all the... For a moment at the time I watched some uh, on YouTube, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay doing some visits to restaurants, like Hill <laughs> Kitchen or something. Yeah, imagine Hell's if, Kitchen. Like, imagine if like there was a randomized not Gordon Ramsay coming in to your restaurant. Okay, you can reorganize your you can reorganize your kitchen and the, the dining area some with randomized stuff that you can buy between each day. Of course, we're just one bloody coin short from being able to buy any of these. And these can be upgraded as well, as you can see with the pluses. But for that, we need the research table, which I stuck in here. And with the research table, you can also... Yeah, you can upgrade them into randomized improved versions like you can turn a sink into an auto washer or just a faster sink that sort of stuff and yeah just randomly you've got to basically hope for the best and we'll try to <laughs> try to manage your time correctly uh, um okay. face the rom i don't know you mentioned him as a food critic <laughs> it's it's fucking raw this means something when it comes to a damn werewolf. <laughs> yeah. No, now let's move to the next. Why... Now you see how random my mind is. <laughs> okay. And yeah, the name of this one already popped up. And, well, we haven't seen these people in a, quite a while. I think they're still disbanded, basically, because they overdid it immensely with... Uh, <laughs> the stuff they were doing like they were making too many games and they were basically the same but just a different skin like walking dead returns yeah. okay you got already they, they, we spoke about it this year and last year they returned but hmm. i don't know i don't know, I don't know if they fell out again already yeah, i'd have to look up i haven't heard of a game being released by them in at least a few years i think but yeah, our second game is Poker Night at the Inventory. This one so, I've never heard of. I think there will be at least one character here you'll recognize, probably two. What the heck is going on? We're having poker. Yeah, the sequel of this game is more well known, but I think you'll spot someone familiar in just a few seconds here. What in name of... Oh, hello there! Another enthusiast, I presume. How good it is to see a fresh face here at the inventory. I imagine you're here for the card game with the fellows downstairs. Let me lead you down there. What by Helios beardless cheeks is this? <laughs> it's What's he doing here? <laughs> yep, the he's from Monkey I'm, Island. I'm a bit more familiar with the uh, benefactions of the club. <laughs> the club was founded in 1919 in response to an early draft of the 18th Amendment. Through back channels, it was learned that this vile piece of legislation would not only outlaw libations, but games and amusements that could also threaten the world-renowned determination and productivity of the American workforce. Ah, can you imagine? Games outlawed! Nevertheless, this club has been here in secret ever since, just in case those in charge get another bee in their bonnet. Mm. So welcome, and enjoy yourself. Ah, your table. Ahem, gentlemen. I hope there is room at the table for a fifth. Ha! <laughs> Fresh meat! Yeah, this I'm game is basically food. a crossover of a bunch Tonight's of Steam games. $10,000. Oh, just that because I can't you're a manager, you get anymore. to make the rules. <laughs> manager? <laughs> no, I am not under the employ of the inventory. I just see to it that everybody has a good time. 
That will be 10,000. I hope each of you brought your billfolds. Here you go. Jump change, I say. Jump change. The die has been cast. The game will be No Limit Texas Hold'em. I will periodically raise the blinds. May the best player win. And yeah, this oh, is basically I... just poker, but with a, a colorful cast. <laughs> yeah, I, I recognize the bunny. I forgot his name. I've never Max. seen it. Like, I mostly knew them a bit, bit of, from YouTube, but also from box art. And of course, heavy. And yep. I have played the games, but I uh, learned about the, uh, them from lore videos, memes, and whatnot. It, it's not. It's hard to not know who Heavy is. Yeah. yeah. And also over here game, we also, have. Oh, <laughs> Go ahead. Night got removed. Okay. The, the sequel is still up on Steam. I'm pretty sure. Now it's also <laughs> removed. Like I can't buy it. Okay, that's stupid. Prop, I'm guessing copyright bullshit. More than likely. Okay. Uh, yeah. Po in poker, players create hands of five cards. Poker is played for money, goods, and sometimes services. Texum Holden players are dealt two cards and make hands using five community cards dealt face up in the center of the table. Texum Holden was created by the, you know, when the El Paso Dealers Union complained of restraints when dealing a full five card hand. After a lengthy strike by the insufferable louts, this stately variation was born. That sounds like bullshit. You know, use the best five cards out of the seven to create your hands. The two players to the left of the dealer post the blinds. Small N8s that all players must match to stay in the hands. Your two bacon cards are the base of your hand. They are known as your whole cards. Playing with high pairs, high cards are the same suit or cards in the sequence is prudent play, although any two cards have a chance of winning. Now comes time to bet your hand. If you haven't posted the blind, you can choose to match the blind or raise the bet. There is no limit to the amount you can bet. During any betting round, you can bet all of your chips and go all in. Look around you and... Okay. <laughs> Are men clutching their blind... Bill for his, like, screaming belly wags? Yes, then you've probably gone all in. I think we can guess who wrote these. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's just... Yeah. Basically, each of these characters have their own have their own strategies. This guy is strong bats, and yeah, this guy is from a uh, Penny Arcades. I call, which is a a web comic that I think is still ongoing. At the very least, they had a few games. I've never heard of them. Let's see. We've got an Number ace and a six. I remember a comic where they reference, uh, I think it was Shout Out Hearts 2, one side Betty. quest has you find hmm. pictures of muscular men with very little clothes in order to upgrade a character. Mm, I don't think so. And basically the, go the whole thing was like, one of them was like on a phone call with his I'm mom, was like, no mom, we're not doing anything, and the other guy was like, Playing the game, Think like I can't find a card with this specific guy. It's like, that like I can't find this specific guy. It's go, like, oh, and he just, and the guy on the phone goes, try the, uh, try the, the pot, the, uh, the plant wins stuff. The hand. If and goes back to his mom and is like, no, money, mom, I'm not right gay. Now. I swear. Why? I will make hat from you, little bunny. Uh, hey. Ever listen to music? Also, while you I just now realized yeah. that I outside of trading, I can never well, get the iron killer mood. Ride of the Valkyries, Icelandic death metal. I just get Huey Lewis tape. He keeps spirits up on battlefield. <laughs> yeah, and so these will banter so between themselves weapons. constantly. Sasha is my only love. Sasha <laughs> kills people, I presume. No. Oh. Huh? We kill people. Sasha being heavy's gun, of course. These guns are weak, like blue baby team. I'll call. <laughs> but Go yeah, on. each of them have their own strategy. Like heavy, you would think heavy would be quite aggressive, but no, strong bad is the aggressive one, if I recall correctly. And yes, I am talking about you. Heavy actually is one of the smarter players here. I believe Max is just basically going random because he doesn't understand the goddamn game. And Tycho here is supposed to be also a rather clever one. So they will try to bluff you, and you can try and bluff them. 
Uh, let's keep going for a little bit more. And yeah, the, basically the, the point is to be the last one standing. Let's see. Okay, we've got a we got a one, two, three out of that. Uh, let's raise the bet a bit then. Nope. I'm raising. He's confident. Tycho is not. They yep. Don't worry about your chippies, little chippies. <laughs> okay, we've got. I don't I don't know what it's called if you have three in a row. But at least we have one decently strong pair. I'm betting. I just noticed the artwork on the cards. <laughs> what the heck is the queen wearing? Is, is that a house <laughs> or a box? I think it's a newspaper. Okay, he, he, Strong Bad is going the in real hard. Two pair. Strong Bad has three of a kind. Strong Bad wins the hand. Of course I've got the best hey, cards, man! That's what they call me! Got the best cards, man! <laughs> hey, Heavy, you know any hot Russian spies? I hate spies. <laughs> but you gotta have the inside line on some deadly minxes named Natalia or Khrushchevia, right? You want hot spy? Am I not wrestle man? Do I not wrestle bleed? I have friend who gets you a hot spy. Get him on the two-way, man! His name is Pyro. Just real quick, the spy is hot in this case because it is on fire. Oh, not as good. <laughs> but yeah, I think you get the point of it. <laughs> okay. Just a, a fun, quirky little game. Probably maybe sometimes for streaming we're, we, yeah, when we're just fooling around. But for actual well, story type streaming, no. This one, though, may be on that. Okay, that, that's, the, that's the Valve theme. <laughs> Portal 2. Yep. Uh -oh. Not that it already ah, popped up with the, the loading bit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember now, this game has co-op with two players. Yep. Okay. And, well, I don't think this game really needs much introduction. It's freaking Portal 2. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> okay. Starting the timer. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Aperture science, huh? You should now feel yep. mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the point out intellectual something that I really on this classical music. Out. The portal okay. gun, the portal gun was somehow meant to work as a shower curtain. Okay. Because what? Aperture, Science, Aperture Science started as a company that made shower curtains. And somehow, <laughs> somewhere down the line, they became Aperture Science. And somewhere down the line, they figured, we've got a portal, maybe we can use it for... Good. Shower curtains for purposes until somebody bed. figured out it's a gun that shoots a portal between point A and point B. Maybe a shower curtain is not viable, Good but order. a bunch of other you shit have is. Been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? The subject the enrichment Hello? Immediately. Any test subject Are you well? At this time. At any time? Well, to have that was a long nap. Ah! ah! God, God, you look te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. 
Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. <laughs> it's been a, a bit. Like. You're Nope. Why is there a why is there a lawnmower motor to Most attach to this? Subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what, that's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. What? Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. Uh, just, just gotta get through here. I just can't concentrate. Just hitting every bloody thing along the way. When the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables. Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. <laughs> You've hit more than just that one, Wheatley. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know. The last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. All right, not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, off you go. <laughs> Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Yeah, this is this is quite literally the first place where you start off in the first portal, and uh, it's been a bit. Holy! Yeah, I almost forgot that. Last time I saw this was from well, press not to laugh. <laughs>
If cube and button-based testing can cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. AKA, enamel cube go through, cube no more. And uh, yeah, what is there to, left to say about this game? This game has been played millions upon millions of times. <laughs> Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Wait, what? Yeah. This island was not known for their safety standards. Yeah, more like their safety non-standards. <laughs> but yeah, portal, hole one lead to hole B, thing go in hole one or two, come out other sides. There, there. Okay, I don't remember the the trick that they meant that they managed to figure out for all of this, but yeah, they they, they made the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing. Your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An aperture science reintegration associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Basically, think of Aperture Science as Vault Tech. And maybe a bit less sadistic, but still very much on the same level. A more idiotic? Yeah. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. It's a miracle this place is even standing still. And this, uh, like, 10,000 hey, years in the future? Not sure about how that long. On that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? I know that voice. I think it's a comedian. Hello? Hmm? Can you see the portal gun? Uh, also, are you alive? Priorities. <laughs> That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right. Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Ooh, I think it is a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know it's a comedian. Yes, I don't know their name. Or oh, I don't... I only remember the voice at the moment. <laughs> and, yep, yeah, that's Shell from the first okay. Portal game. Uh, hang on, and I don't... I don't think it was Stephen Fry. Hang on, let me check something. It was... Stephen mm. Merchant. Okay. That sound um, that that brings a bell. Yeah, now we can put up our own little blue portal anywhere and a little link to an orange portal. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There we go. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So here's a fun fact. If you walk through those things, they also melt the uh, enamel from your teeth. Yep. Wait, what? So yeah, better keep your you. mouth closed as you walk through those things. <laughs> like, they have a habit of emancipating 
uh, a lot of other things than they're supposed to. Very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. And there goes the jazz. <laughs> okay, we can use the portals to grab things. You can just do a fuck ton of stuff with the portals. And of course, we're, we're limited to just these at the moment. Let's see. There. And yoink. But we will get the... Uh, we will get the other one as well, sooner or later. There. Yoink. And there. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Okay. There. Ooh. Oh, no, Bob. Okay. Unreason. Uh, lots of calculations. No clue what all of that means. Uh, wait, is this... Oh. Schrodinger's cat. He jumped out of the box. Okay. That little movement as we pass through the field is the portals that we put up uh, being destroyed as well. And I was only concerned. In more than one way, I presume. Yeah, as our pirate captain is also an alchemist. Is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Let us make this is somewhat why I'm concerned about our dear captain putting <laughs> me and Romy to test. No, I wouldn't do this kind of test. Be too expensive. Do you believe him, Rom? I don't know what to believe. <laughs> it's okay. That brought these up. Let's see. That opens that. But the moment we do that, okay. So. We have the dispenser there. Yep. Speedy thing go in, speedy thing go out. There we go. <laughs> there well and... <laughs> the enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Okay, I call bullshit on that. <laughs> but they probably have done a lot of good are... technology, just don't use it well. Yeah. Hey, here's a fun fact. Hmm? What? I found a custom-made version of the sacrifice map from Left 4 Dead 2, where one of the options is that you can actually save Bill from dying. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. We could try putting that in one of the mod packs as well. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> Reassuring. Okay. Anyway, like with Speedy Box go in, Speedy Box go out. Speedy, you go in and come out. Oh dear. And do remember, people, this is the same universe as Half Life. Yeah. Like, Aperture literally got. Literally called out by uh, well, in an at least one of the games. This facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome, and remember, 
Testing is the future, and the future starts with you. You surviving this bullshit, hopefully. Okay, we can put portals on these you know, things. Let's see. There. And there. Okay. No. Okay. Now, where does this need to be brought? Let's see, there's over there. Okay, let's put this thing down first. There. And there. Okay, that's too fast. I, I see. Nope. There. With the lower one, we'll, we don't have enough height to make the jump, I think. There we go. Ow. Okay. But yeah, to do all of this, they had to do quite some technical wizardry, I believe, which I still, <laughs> I can't comprehend myself. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Excuse me? That's, that felt to me like an outright Fallout reference. Fallout 2. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. <sighs> okay. okay, well, could you turn on the safety again? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Come on through! Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's, w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Let's see. Stick up there. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? The game managed to get a hell of a lot of personality out of just a freaking soccer ball. Secret panel. While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um just follow the rail actually. Free from the rail, uh, let's follow the rail. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. This part would probably suck for anyone who hates being stared at. <laughs> what the heck? Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch it. 
Yeah, GLaDOS. Like, one of the... <laughs> I, I think next to Hell 9000, GLaDOS is THE proto-example, or the base example of psychotic AI. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! <laughs> Actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a note: no braces on your spine either. So so don't land on that um, or your head. No braces. Ah! Oh, still held, still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. I, I was actually trying to drop him, but it won't let me drop him. <laughs> oh, God. Of course oh, you tried. Sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, oh, I've just done it again. <laughs> this is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look uh -oh. for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. I was quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. I think you pushed the wrong button Power up there. Initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um... Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Did I do a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay. Okay, okay, listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. Nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. And uh, yeah, the mm -hmm. homicidal AI is awake again. Oh, no. No. How long have you been playing this one already? <laughs> the, the timer just went off, but let's wait for this a little bit more. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Actually, here's another the fun fact for release really portal. Go ahead. The co-op mode was actually supposed to be Shell and another girl named Mel. But because of the incredible amount of death and a real way of explaining how, you know, player two comes back from the dead, they changed it to the robots in co-op mode. Yeah. There's a mod that actually stars Mel called Portal 2 Mel Stories, I think. Okay. Okay, give me a sec on that. And yeah. Moving on to game number four, uh, I would I would want to stream Portal Two for the story at some point. Like it's been done a million times over, but it's just an amazing game, simply put. 
And I think Drakir will recognize this game. Yeah, I was kind of the guy who made him buy this. <laughs> he had some issues with this one in the past. <laughs> okay, this game, I have no idea how to actually explain this. It's like a sort of mix between uh, Terraria and Minecraft of sorts, but it's, well, on a shattered planet. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not a bad game. It's just not a... I think it's more a game meant to be played in a relaxed manner. Yeah. I mean, maybe not necessarily hardcore. Uh, yeah, these look very much uh, My Sims-like, these characters. Like, pretty much yeah. the only damn difference is the eyelashes and the freaking lipstick between male and female. I think most of this is superficial anyways. Uh, this is where things get more complicated because, well, it's an RPG-like game. Uh, let's go Plain Warrior. Hit the random... I'm going with that. <laughs> Holy... <laughs> what uh, plain beard and all. And yeah, we can make worlds to, well, screw around oh. in, so let's make one. Let's see. Let's just go with large islands. There... And go. Yeah, I said, this game works on my new computer better than my old one. <laughs> For, it has some issues. Let's see. In the Forgotten Days, the world was peaceful and whole, but the fracture arrived and tore the realm apart. I don't really think there's an actual map. Well, there probably is some story, but I don't think it's too much of a main thing, actually. Well, <laughs> now the only connection. A lot of story. Okay, now the only connection between disparate lands is the, are the ancient portals, and they are guarded by covetous fiends who thrive in the darkness. The world awaits heroes who will restore lights to the portals and reunite the peaceful realm. Okay, now remember, th this game is sort of like Spell Force, but much more chibi-like and without the real-time strategy elements. Yeah, but... Uh, it has a lot of story. The stories are very straightforward. It's not a very hard game either, but again, it's a way for kids or people just want to, you know, turn off the brain a little bit for a moment. Yeah, it's but a simple can... game doesn't mean it's a bad game, but... Yeah, like, you did complain you fit a bit too easy. Yeah. And yeah, basically that's the... The story, go fix these portals. You're basically a magical handyman. And yeah, all of the characters speak in Simlish. Yeah, it's a portal. This, this and... British. <laughs> it's a portal, capable of teleporting you to other islands such as this one. It's ancient, made from very powerful magic. It needs blue portal stones to activate. You can make them if you can find enough blue portal stone shards. Once you have enough uh, blue portal stones, you are ready to put them inside the portal. Uh, yep. I have seen only one person leave by way of this portal, and have yet to see anyone return. Are you sure it's worth the risk? Yeah. Oh yeah, the point is, like Minecraft is, you can build a lot. You can even grab the NPCs and bring them to your own island. Okay. Let's see. I completely don't remember how you're supposed to get those things. Uh, just take down some trees. From, uh, mining and defeating mobs. Okay. Want to be a miner, do you? Go. First things first, you're going to make yourself a stone pickaxe. For that, you'll need to harvest some wood from trees and some stone. After that, it's easy. Just whack away at anything rock or metal to get yourself a block of stone or ore. That's about everything I learned at mining school. Yeah, you, yeah, you have the bit of a vacant stare of someone who is only... Ought to do one task for the rest of their lives. Weird. But yeah, actually, they 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 finished uh, this uh, game. I don't maybe bought it. There has been no updates since then. However, apparently they made a new one of Portal Knights only in China. Okay. As an MMO. It was so popular in China, they made an MMO of it there. Eh, not too surprised. But it's only in China, so... There, yeah. crafts... Okay. 
Now we can put that there. And yeah, let's go see what we can find down here. And there's... Yeah, there's only this bloody roll, not like a run or anything. There. And hello. Yeah, here's a photo because you will see it's kind of air cooling here, the yellow like. You can find randomized loot. Okay. Sort of randomized. Let's see, there's someone in here. So, it also, Steam Workshop support, though the Steam Workshop is only, well, people's other copies of their own maps. So it's not very exciting there. Okay, so no mods to make it more interesting and such. Yeah, sadly enough. Hmm. I wouldn't go down the tower basement if I were you. Not even for the treasure that's down there. Oops, me and my big mouth. <laughs> Are you nuts? I'm in charge of the tower and even I won't go down there. But yeah, this is just a very kiddie Minecraft-like with more RPG stuff. Not a bad game overall, but there's better out there. Plus the yeah. combat is a bit... Uh, well, you just saw how that went. It does look, get I mean, more deeper just... as you st get more stuff and such. Yeah, do both when we tried to play this game, most easy was... It, it, he felt it was a bit easy, but this issue was... Me disconnecting a lot along with another friend. Yeah. And even a few times, it even, if it even one or twice, I actually black screen on me. So I had to restart my computer. Okay. No. We got some of those stone shards, and now we have to climb all the damn way up. I have played this game recently on this new computer, it, it works better. Do I feel, I'm gonna tr try it again later, since, since then I have cut my FPS. Since then, for I noticed that the butterflies or some areas just went up and down, up and down, like if they were on an energy drink. <laughs> Hmm? Okay, I thought someone was at the door, but no. But uh, yeah. What are the mm. voices there? Uh, yeah, just talking in the hallway outside. Uh, 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 honestly speaking, if we were to try and play a game like this again, I'd probably say to just go with modded Minecraft instead. Yeah. No. It, it, ha it is on Steam and Switch, and maybe on the consoles. I, I guess it, if you want to give a kid a good game, that like this is a very good game to for a younger audience, easily. Yeah, like Pixar, even though that can also be fucking unfair. Yeah, like you said, Pixar, it's kind of funny, you have said it has Pixar feels easy. For me, it's, it's easy on the right places, but they've eased it up. Yeah. But it's almost harder than regular orc in other places. Yeah, with all the magical like bullshit the they added. Wait, with what? It's like all the magical bullshit that you have to deal with as well. Uh, yeah. Okay, we've got some portal blocks, but not enough yeah, to finish I, this thing. I can say this for us older audience, I can get, say this could be a good game for just shilling. You should yeah. relax, you know. There. Like you, if your brain is not in mood of something super dramatic, you just wanna... Yeah, cool down and such, then this could probably be it. Not too yeah, hard, maybe. not just... Uh, just enough a relaxed gameplay. Let's see, I, I still... Uh, maybe that, yeah, but I... Minecraft probably still would be a better option, especially with some of the mods that make uh, multiplayer a lot easier without servers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I would say this game would probably run for me a bit better if it had a proper modding support and not just using Steep Workshop as a share map thing. This it feels weird. Why even have Steam Workshop support if it doesn't have mods? Yeah. Let's see, the house darn it here fell apart after the last storm. Could you fix her up for me? I'd do it if it weren't for my uh, bad back. Or your bad working attitude. Ooh, for a minute I thought I was going to have to do some work. 
If you place some polished wood blocks onto the house, that'd be a good enough start. Lazy bum. And yeah, we could ask her to come along. So you could get NPC, well, party members to come along for things as well. Nothing in here. Uh, this could be sounds horrible, but you basically can recruit them as decorations. <laughs> okay. Or as portable merchant almost. For your own island where you can have uh, your own little town and all that. All but, right. uh, you hear what I said, it feels weird to say. Let's see. Workbench, let's make one of those. There. Yep, it's already in there. Okay, let's so put that down. I would critique it heaviest on is resource gunner. Like, if you want to build a nice house, you're going to need a lot of materials, and those materials will run out quickly. Yeah, so you need to continuously explore around. Yeah, see, and they own a limited amount since you own a floating island. And since have, you can have a massive map, but they always recommend to not use it. This makes me wonder why even bother have it. So you may end up having needing to use extra worlds just as one for gameplay and one for resource gathering. Yeah, you have that with game with some other games as well, like uh, Terraria, where you'll just run out of. Uh, <clears throat> you'll. If, yeah, you could just run out of certain materials or they become so hard to find that it's better to start a new world to just mine that out. Yeah. The Terraria seem more focused on boss fights and such. With side of building. True. But, yeah, this game feel like it should focus on a lot of adventure and building. But they made building such a hassle. Let's plant those again. Okay. They had some very nice build pieces though. I will say that. I had almost built some nice houses, but I... The few times I have played, I was I never been able to really properly finish building a house because of always out of resources. Okay, that will just keep going even when we're not actually looking at it. Yeah, luckily enough it has that. And yeah, again, maybe a game for just chill streams or such, probably in a world that's already well, quite worked over. But yeah, not really story stream material. It is not for us. For It has story. I don't know if it's good or not. It does seem, seem rather advanced for, a, some, for this kind of a game. That seem to be aimed for all your audience, but then again, younger audience have for a while not been likely to be treated as tiny kids. Because I think it's aimed to slightly older kids or something, people of all ages. Yeah. Just one yeah. short. Uh, actually, let's just. Yeah. And also there's that, yeah, I guess. Like, if you put a piece wrong... Yeah, it's gonna take a pit to fix that. Uh, yeah, he's talking about these crates here, that we can destroy them. Yeah, no, there's just a... <laughs> it's just a fuck ton of wood already in these, okay. Alright, uh, and, and those res... Alright, oh, they respawn. Okay, that enough. Okay, apparently not. Do we have to just reconstruct this thing completely or something? Oh, sure. Oh, I want well. to finish that one. Oh, well. I think we've seen enough of this game. So, yeah. yeah. There, Let's there move on to the next. There are a few YouTube channels dedicated to this game, so... It has some popularity. Yep. Yep. Cloud, <laughs> cloud error for Portal Knights, apparently. And... Okay, why is... There we go. <laughs> For a second, I thought what was going on with that. Scandinavia? And then it reopens a new window. Uh, yeah, the, okay, this is a bit wrong. Okay, Borderless Gaming kind of mucked up on this, so give me a second. 
to fix that. There, there. Uh, come on, show. There, okay. Post mouse. Uh, come on. Okay, it won't do that, so I'll just have to turn it into a game capture then. So give me a second. Showcase. There. Yep, come on. Let's click a random one. Change that to post mouse. There. And that should catch on any second. There we go. Okay, don't close borderless, but minimize it. And yeah, this is a... This is a little uh, game that I believe a bunch of students made for their school project or thesis or something. And yeah, it's about for... a post mouse. It makes sense for... Apparently we have massive amount of school university in Sweden for games. <laughs> post mouse. <laughs> what? Boss? What? Post mouse, I have a job for you. I know this is sudden, but no one has seen call the post pigeon in three days, and the post office is getting seriously backed up with all these letters. Uh, there, start the timer. I would go and deliver this myself, but I'm not as young and spry as I used to be. So it's up to you. Uh, but boss, I've never gone that far out before. I never got any training for, th training for this. Post mouse, I've seen that twinkle in your eye. I can tell you want to get out and explore the world beyond our little nook. Well, yes, but this is also sudden end. If you do well today, you might even prove that you've got the guts to deliver alongside the veteran post pigeons. So how about it? I can try it. Very good. Now, the recipient you're looking for goes by the name of Pablo. He should be somewhere over yonder, by the Great Crane. You can use the map next to the post office if you need to orient yourself. Now hop to it. <laughs> oh dear. And yeah, this game is about delivering mail as a mouse. Yeah, I, I said this. I am glad that in Sweden we have... I don't know how, how common video game universities are in the rest of the world. Uh, definitely, I suspect there are definitely some in USA, Britain and of course Japan and such. But I'm kind of glad these Sweden have a very active uh, university line which goes all in on it. And many of the students seem to do this. You're a funny one. Four-legged folks don't usually get this close to my nest. What are those round things on your head? Can I touch them? My ears? Ears. Never heard of them. More importantly, have you seen any stamps? Stamps? They're kind of square and have some really cool pictures on them. I'm collecting them. I named them after me, so they all legally belong. So they all legally belong to me. I'm Stamp. Sure. Uh, oh, you're not very talkative, are you? Anyway, if you're heading out of here and seeing any stamps, could you show them to me? As you already found some. If you bring me enough, I'll show you my own, my, my own personal favorites. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing that uh, stamp progression really? is just saved across stuff, but. Yeah, <laughs> there's stamps hidden all over the place for you to find. And I'm not getting an interaction with this, so yeah, those are saved across the game. Okay. Now, let's see. Next to the Great Crane. Let's go check it out. And yeah, as a student game, this is a bit janky with things, but it is still very nice. Let's see, we are at the post office and the Great Crane is over that way, so we have to go over and along the water. Let's be honest, this is impressive for a student game, and do remember, Raft was a student game. Yeah. Oh, hiya, Postmouse. Where are you heading? The boss gave me a letter. He did what? Come on, I can't wait to see the pigeon's face when he sees that you had to fill in for him. He'll be so embarrassed. So who are you looking for? Someone named Pablo. Pablo? Hmm, where have I heard that? Got it. Pablo is a tortoise, if I remember correctly. You know, giant shell, menacing beak, can swallow a mouse whole. Surprise, fool! Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello there, Starnak. <laughs> Thank you for the raids. <laughs> Thank you everyone who came along with that. <laughs> 
that oh, came the fuck out of nowhere. Yeah, that came <laughs> at such a timing. <laughs> Let's see. Let's give you a shout out. Star Knack forty eight. What were you playing? Uh, okay, you were just chatting. Okay. <laughs> So how did it go? And yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Captain Hillian, and uh, over there we have my current co-hosts uh, Drakir and Ron. Hello. And Hello. yeah, we're showcasing some games to see if they're any good for streaming some other time. Uh, let's see, Schmepperoni. We watched anime. Okay, we're watching anime. What anime were you watching? And uh, I'm presuming Twitch didn't smack you down for that, for copyright stuff and such. <laughs> Anyways, this current game that we're trying, we give each of them about half an hour each, sometimes shorter if it's just not clearly not a game to be streamed, <laughs> for story that is. Uh, but yeah, this one is Post Mouse. It's a little student game where, well, we're a mouse who delivers post. Let's see. Oh, Higurashi God. When They Cry. Very gory. Can't say I've heard of it. I'm not really I a, have, an anime. I have kid. seen this decent. It's good, but bloody. Okay, it's a horror can... series. Okay, yeah, that explains that. I'm not really much of a uh, anime right aficionado. Right not that I don't watch them, but more that I just don't watch them that much. Let's what see, anime it's so are good. What talking about? Higurashi when they cry. Oh, yeah, I know that one. That was a visual novel. Anyways, gotta go to the bathroom. Be right back. Okay, right. see you in a bit. Uh, Higurashi is actually based on a board game. It's basically, there's a goddess, and they make time repeat over and over until someone in e is, sets one scenarios without any deaths or disaster. And I then, think and I might have seen a summary of something like that. Hmm? I that? think I might have seen a summary of something similar to like that. It's a bunch of characters that get thrown into oh. an arena or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna say how it ends. I'm just telling the concept. Okay. It's Let's basically see. just a loop. Mm. I'm not gonna see how it ends. I know, but I kind of say it's it's an audio is horrible. <laughs> Something goes wrong. Okay. I'm not gonna say how it ends. For that would be horrible spoiler. How it ends. Let's see. Oh, but I'm sure it's fine. We haven't had a case of predation around these parts for the better part of a cycle. Tortoises are usually fine. I'll keep them in mind. Thank you for warning me. But yeah, like I said, this is a, a student game that they made for a thesis or something, or proof of concept or something. They, they made a game, simple as that. Uh, and yeah, I've played this before. It is nice, but I'm not really too sure if it is a full-on streaming game. Since, yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I'm I, pretty I sure they really like this, But I... I do feel like it's very impressive and nice. Let's see. Instinct. I've been sent out to deliver a letter to a tortoise named Pablo. The boss told me I would find him near water. Okay, and that shows where in yeah, where we need to head. And hello there. That's a big old tortoise. Uh, let's see. MC is stupid though. What? Don't spoil. Uh, we only got through the second arc. He is stupid though. The main characters tend to be idiots, yeah. Hello there. Are you Pablo? Yep. Yep. <laughs> His head needs to be close by for us to be able to talk. Oh, that looks like something they need to fix. Yep. But again, if it's too, like, still again, it's impressive that this dude hmm. has got this far to begin with. So I'm not going to bash them too much. Hmm. It's actually not reacting, it seems, to the me pressing the E button, so I think the game is a bit glitched. No, not that Pablo. Yeah, who was Pablo Escobar anyway? I know I've him so many times. I believe he is a, was a drug dealer or a big oh. gang lord. Oh, okay, now I remember. But yeah, final note, Higurashi says I'm not going to go too much into today, mm. but there's so much detail I don't want to go into. I only give the basic summary since it's based on a board game. I say for people to love horror, special anime horror, definitely watch. Just what I gave a summary is definitely probably almost a needed summary to not get confused by it. Okay, for first time I've heard 
of a, okay. an anime that's based on a board game of all things. Uh, there's a few, but yeah, I would keep hmm. minimum there. Even some support is kind of necessary for. I know that uh, many people who had got into it got extremely confused by it. And it looks but like the game they, is glitched. They to know that some minor info they understood this is a little bit better, was able to enjoy it better. But Let's yeah, see. I'm not going to go too much detail for that. I'm, you have to watch the TCS yourselves and see how it goes. Um, I said all the details I'm willing to share. Everything else, you will have to check yourselves. Let's see, what's this? A post mouse? I'm looking for a Pablo. Do I look like a Pablo to you? I don't know. Not our ain't. But tell you what, I bet that anxious looking you know, pacing tortoise I saw earlier had something to do with it. Call it a gut feeling. Hmm. Yeah, the, the game doesn't let won't let us talk to that tortoise over there. And if I recall correctly, that is not Pablo. He he's found further this way, I think. But I, I think I managed to glitch the game somehow so that we can't actually progress. But yeah, this game is a nice little platformer. It we're yeah, we're just a teeny tiny mouse. And I believe we are going the game does lead you into that building There's and such. Another tortoise. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. We were told that Pablo was near the Great Crane, so let's see if we can actually talk with you. Hmm? What is this? A small creature has entered my field of vision. Do you know the mayor, the one in charge of this town? And not personally. Hmm, for shame. I've been pacing around here for too long and seem to have wandered into a place I cannot get out of. Can you not swim? Swim? I'm a tortoise, not a turtle. And I do not want to get my wares wet. I'm a merchant, you see. I was waiting for news from the town, planning to scout the area. The bureaucracy around here is unbearably slow, and it's a tortoise saying that. And I should know. <laughs> Are you Mr. Pablo? The one and only. What do you ask? I have a letter for you from the Yellow Woods Town Hall. Truly? Hmm. The lettering is small and hard for me to read. Postmaster, could you read it for me? Maybe a cute voice like yours will soften the blow of rejection. I, I'll do my best. <clears throat> Dear Pablo R. Tortoise, We are happy to inform you that your application to establish Pablo's Everett Land goods has been approved by the Yellowwoods Ministry. You are to establish your merchant store no later than the end of fall, otherwise we will offer the space to another candidate. Remember to register your lot with Nestle, L <laughs> Nestle S. Hedgehog at the town hall. All of the last names are just going to be the species, isn't it? Kind regards, Yellow Woods Town. <laughs> I had prepared myself for rejection, and you, my little savior, has given, have, have given me hope. But I must say, I wasn't expecting a little creature like yourself to deliver an important letter like this on foot. Did they run out of pigeons in this forest? Curious. It's a longer story, but I'm happy to have been of service. Okay. Mm. I'm not familiar with Umineko, so I don't know if that's the game. I only know it was based on a board game that got so popular it became a manga and a series. That's all okay. I know. Yeah, but let's see. I've actually seen the show. Let's see. It's not, though. Okay. All right, maybe not Dominico. Only that the part of it being based on a board game is from other people telling me that, so they could give me false information for all I know. And yeah, now we have ourselves a little puzzle that we need to get out of here because we're kind of stuck on this island now as well. And yeah, he is carrying a bunch of stuff. Holy, and I didn't notice they were attached to him. <laughs> the heck? Let's see. A visual novel. Okay, yeah. I'm sure visual novel was a thing back then. Hmm. And Inky's pushing her way past the door. Uh oh. So she's going to be dancing around my feet in any, any second now. But yeah, or as any platformer. <laughs> yep, no, she's just going to sit in the windowsill. But yeah, as any platformer or decent platformer, we'll have to solve environmental puzzles every here and there with this game. I didn't get too far into this on my own playtime. Uh, let's see. But if I recall correctly, we need to use this 
we need to move this crane. And it's it, so E to interact with switches. Yep. Okay, that gets this big old engine working. Yep. Okay, I did not know visual novels was a thing already that 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 from 2002. <laughs> Which for me, I only started to hear about visual novels of like I was that like six years ago? Was the first time I ever heard of it? Hmm. I think most manga could count as a visual novel of sorts. Yeah, I was always confused That's... by the term that to start with. But I feel like ain't any book with picture it, it technically a visual novel? It took me yeah, a bit I... while to understand what they actually meant by it. Yeah, more a certain style of storytelling, I believe. Let's see. There's some switches here somewhere to move that thing. Oh. Oh, oh, no, it's just moving on its own now. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, most of this game is about just figuring out how to get from A to B. And let's take a little look over here. Oh, actually, this. Oh. Uh, yeah, if, if you fall too far, you will die, of course, but the game luckily has checkpoints. You fully played this game before? Yeah, I have played it for a short while, like an hour or two. And it is interesting and nice, but there are better games out there. But I'd still be willing to give this game another shot at some point. Um, same. I don't feel... Th I'm really forced to play this game at some point. Because I feel like the current ones we have may be more fun currently. Yeah. Again, not to say that this game is bad or anything. It's sim We've had it similarly with some of the side games that we've been playing, like whilst we were playing Dave the Diver, and uh, I've kind of forgotten what other one we were playing at the time, but we were just enjoying Dave a lot better. Again, not to say that the other one was Evil a Land. bad game. Evil Land. Yeah, Evil yeah. Land 2. Let's see. My tiny savior. I don't know how you manage, but the rumbling sound is back, and the way back is clear. And we can make it to my lawn in time. You have saved my business and my hide. If there is anything you need, come and come back and ask. Thank you, Sir Pablo. I was happy to be of service. Okay. I did it. I made a bridge for Pablo and myself to get off the island. I should go talk to him to make sure he's okay, and afterwards, I'll tell the boss I'm done so I can get back to work. And yeah, I... yeah, I said it. Some tortoises can swim, but not all of them. All right, it's time to head back, I guess. Okay, and yeah, the game is merciful enough that it will let us just teleport there instead of having yeah. to go all the way back. Actually, I suppose it is. If you ever see a tortoise walk in the forest, such, don't put it in the water. Yeah. I I think I've seen uh, stories of people who did and the f they drowned the damn thing. Yeah, like some of them can swim, but many of them can't. This is the problem. Yeah. Post mouse, back so soon. The recipient was a bit stuck, but I actually helped that huge tortoise out. Manage, did you? Tell you what, post mouse, I'll keep running the desk if you keep at it with these letters. And keep a lookout for that bird brain crawl while you're out. Well, the first delivery wasn't that bad. I could take another. So where am I going? There's the right, and that's the there's the right attitude. How do you feel about heights, post mouse? It heights? Well, as long as I can land safely. The letter is addressed to Aerith, Donda, and Amori. They are a nest of robins living at the top of the clock tower. You know, the tall structure to the north. All the way up there? It's just a bit of height. I'm sure you'll manage just fine. There are folks counting on you, Post Mouse. Gilp. <laughs> and yeah, I it, think that's about enough of this game. Yeah, it, it is well animated. Yeah. There's little bits of jank here and there. Like, I'm pretty sure the leather actually faced through the table for a bit. But I'd be willing to give this game a longer try, It'll eventually. <clears throat> so for now... Sound of... Sound of... Don't you mean an audiobook? 
Okay. Oh, bloody heck. They, they, they come up with so many new terms that makes gonna make things so confusing. Now, let's see. Like, no. what would the difference sound. between a sound novel and an audiobook be? I'm guessing it's... I'm guessing sounds are supposed to play alongside the thing or something. Anyway. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, I guess. Moving on to game number six of eight. So, yeah, we have a lot of short ones this time. And now I can turn the display capture back on. And, yeah, <laughs> game number six for today is Potion Craft. Oh, good. Go uh, I, 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 I think someone called me. <laughs> rum, rum. Let's see. A sound novel is a visual novel that doesn't put too much oomph on the visuals, but instead it's the sounds. That's the wow. Okay. okay. Oh, Sounds that, that interesting. Now I see why it would be have been started as a horror visual no novel that no horror sound novel. Hmm. Oh bloody heck! It would be like listening to a horror movie in the background, except the TV screen is turned off. Okay. Yeah. This game, you'll be. Hmm. There isn't any. No, there's no story. No, there's small bits of story for specific customers but yeah this game is mostly just about making potions let's see the story begins you're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny after a long journey you have finally found a place to ply your trades see you found an old abandoned house on the edge of town judging by the alchemy equipment and garden the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy Apparently a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Let's see. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory uh, wall. It shows you the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. Yeah. And let's look. If we just throw it in like that, then it will have, well, that amount of distance. The other, the other half of the path that it shows, that is if you prepare it. Okay, there and there. And after adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir, click and hold. Yeah, there. Okay, heating. Now that the potion is touching an unknown effect, to find out what the effect does, you need to add it you know, to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. There. And this is... Healing. Okay. Perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion. Healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. There, and we now have, well, a simple healing potion. Right. Grinding ingredients. A mortar and pestle, uh, pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water bloom. Yeah, like I said, if you do this, well, you can see it on the map. There and there. Welcome back. Welcome back, Rum. Yeah. I literally just... No, never mind. Hmm? <laughs> what? Well, we heard you... Uh, well, okay. I, I almost said punch your mic, but that's not correct. Bump your mic? No, I did not. Okay, we can save the recipe okay. for easy recreation. Nicely done. You have saved the recipe. Now finish making the potion. There. Okay, moving between rooms, you are the owner of a potion shop and your task is a... Oh, ink is coming up on the desk from the windowsill. Yeah, you, you, just, you just really want attention this last week, huh, don't you? I see <laughs> nuisance. Off the arm. <laughs> okay, yes. Last stream she was laying against, my, against and over my arm, really limiting my arm movements. 
Okay, which arm are you going to impede this time? Okay, the right arm, it seems. No, we have left arm. What? <laughs> Sometimes I still get left and right confused. Freaking. <laughs> uh, yeah, just park your bot over that, huh? Okay, yeah, we can move to different rooms. We have the sales room. Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions in hand, just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Yeah, sometimes the... Often they will be obvious with what they want. Sometimes you need to uh, think a bit more about it. Let's see. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even uh, get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medication for my pure, poor husband? We just put that on there. And yeah, they like. Okay. We can sell, but we can also haggle. But that, re that reduces our reputation a bit, I believe. So let's just sell. Yep, we got 10 gold and then two reputation. Yeah, pop, no popularity and two reputation. Reputation comes into play in that some people will only approach you if you are of certain good or bad reputation. Let's see. I was just walking down the street minding my own business when a flower pot fell out of nowhere and bonked me right on the head. Good thing I always have, uh, a, you know, I've always had a thick skull or I'd be out cold. But I've got a nice uh, big bump on my head now. What can I rub on it to make it go away? We've got another health potion. And yeah, now we can haggle, which will cost us a bit of popularity. Yeah, successful haggling can significantly increase the price of a potion, but unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite, make it drop. There. Okay, and yeah, we, it just opens up a little mini game. There. Just gotta click these, and okay, it auto finished there. Typically, you can go until you stop. No, you hit one of the sidebars. Okay, yeah, that cost us a little bit of popularity, but oh well. Lack of suitable potions. You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make the potion they need. There's no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Okay, it's Enchanted Garden, go to the garden, and yet yeah, here you will always get a few free ingredients. Like five, no, not five, one of those, one of these. I uh, don't, these will grow more over time, I believe, more different ones as well. I okay. misread all of them. Let's see. The customer needs poison, which means you have to create a potion with the poison effect. You will have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map, but you remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion can be made with one Terraria and one Firebell. Okay, try making a potion yourself. Don't forget to use all the equipment. So let's just stamp this up real good. Yeah. We gain experience from running across the little booklets. Which, I believe, unlocks certain things as we go. Okay, there. And there it is. Okay. Now, this is probably poison. Yep. Finish the potion. Move over. Hello, mice have infested my hut, even though I have a cat. The cat just lies in the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they uh, please. So we need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. Hello, Inky. <laughs> Did you just... Uh, she's, just, she's just looking at one of the screens. Inky. Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It is located above the uh, laboratory. There and there. Yeah, just end. And every day the garden should be restocked about. Excellent. You have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you, can, uh, you found a few ingredients and a ladle of water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck. 
Like, this game is a nice little game, but it does grow rather monotonous quickly. And yeah, yeah that's quite a lot more <laughs> this time. Is, would you classify this as more of a occasional uh, relax game? Perhaps. Let's see. Ugh, I've been feeling nauseous all day. Do you have anything for that? A health potion probably could work. My biggest annoyance with this game is that you don't really have anything to tell where the hell you're supposed to find certain effects here. So you'll be wasting quite a lot of ingredients just exploring around, which some people probably would find more enjoyable, but I think at least some hints as to where you can find certain things, because certain customers want certain things. I think you can tell them no, let's make them leave. But yeah, that's just the annoying thing that I found. For now, though, let's see. We have, yep, yeah, we have, yep, no, we have objectives here. Let's see. The yeah, Alchemist Pass, Chapter One. Oh, hello, hello Pyro Sue. <clears throat> uh, we're showcasing some games for about half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming later. And currently, we are on the sixth of eight possible games. Typically, we go give each of them half an hour, so typically it's only four, but yeah, sometimes okay. some go really short, which is why I have backups. And the current game we're showcasing is Potion Craft, which is a nice little nice game. Start. What did you hear? Showcasing. I want to show okay. that's actually real world. Uh, wor word, not world. Yeah, he likes that, so let's give that. Nope, nope, no, no. Ink, get off the... <laughs> <laughs> you can guess what she was doing there. Oh, <laughs> was... I was. She was waiting. climbing on. I've been waiting for two bloody years for Inky to do some sort of sabotage besides just lying on your arm. <laughs> yeah, she was going to. She was walking on the keyboard there. Let's see. I was involved in a discreet matter recently, and found and someone found out about it. I need a poison to get rid of the unwanted witness. Uh, yeah, we could give this man a poison like he wants, but that would, of course, cut into our reputation. So, uh, no, yeah. fuck off. Actually, there is a bit of coma for this one, for I have seen people play If you have bad, negative good, uh, uh, reputation, you will attract more shady folk, like criminals yeah. and such. Like there, I believe there are ways of game overing in this game, but I'm not entirely sure about those. Maybe like a, you, I think at one point you can get get shaken down by the guards and such if you are too shady, and if you can't pay them, of course, well, in jail you go probably. Okay. okay. Yeah. And yeah, most days we'll also find merchants who come visit us. Hi, are you the new merch? Yeah, the, yeah, the new alchemist. I'm the local herbalist. I get our plants and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. You sell anything besides herbs? You only sell what I know about: flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. I can buy other things from. You, know, you can buy other things from other merchants. So yeah, uh, these prices <clears throat> will vary over time, I believe, and sometimes it is good to get some of these to just, well, have a stock ready. But, yeah, I, I think most of them you can get from your garden, but some can only be gotten from the merchants. But yeah, I'm a bit late on this, but how are you doing, Pyro? Actually, how are <laughs> you all doing today? Yeah, <laughs> very late with that. I just okay. realized, Marco broke the trade, didn't they? Yep. <laughs> Let's see, I think I ate something off and now my stomach aches mightily, and I'm flatulent. Am I going to die? Is there anything that can save me? I think okay, I doubt it's bad. that. I doubt it's that terrible. Uh, where yeah, are the I, resets? I know some food poisonings can be horribly painful, but not to die unless you ate something that is outright dangerous. There. Your shop has become more popular, new popularity level up. Okay. My behind hurts. I have no idea why, but I need to fix it. Do you have any creams? We don't have any creams, but we do have a few potions. There. Okay, yeah. It should work. 
I need to get revenge on someone, and to do so, I need a potion that help that will help me start a fire. Fuck off. It will cost a bit of popularity, but it gives us reputation. Okay, there's also yeah. this down here, the alchemy machine. And basically, oh. this is where you're supposed to be working towards. Basically, you're trying to make an, a, philo a philosopher's stone. I had to say this. It somehow remind me of your Minecraft projects. <laughs> yeah, messy and very big. <laughs> I once, the only thing I could make in Minecraft was a house, and that required me to have uh, a bunch of extra stuff from like the developer console. What? The only thing I could make in Minecraft was a house, and that required me to have a bunch of stuff from the developer console. Okay. Yeah, that's why I say what? I was surprised you went to the developer console. I. Well, I didn't really use the developer console as much as I just played. Okay. <laughs> and here's the herbalist again. No, thank you. Yeah, it will start simple with just poisons and healing uh, stuff. But as the game goes, you will <clears throat> you will get asked for more complicated stuff. Uh, just another healing potion. Yeah, do you have... Yep. <laughs> Get another healing potion. Uh, I need a potion that will, can help, will help me keep meat, vegetables, and other food fresh and preserved. Okay, that's a new one. So, let's go see if we can find whatever the hell that might be. That's okay. actually a logical question for... During the middle times, they tried to experiment ways to preserve food better for long winters and such. Okay. These okay, areas so with the skulls and bones we want to avoid. Potion or smoke it or salt. Yeah, it's an ice potion in this case, if I remember correctly. This would be okay. probably handy, but it could store food for quite a while long while during winter. Frost. Okay. But yeah, only during winter. But is that potion as well? But yeah. They had to be inventive back in the day to preserve food. Yeah. I I kind of do want to know how just salted fish takes like like the stuff that they had stored in massive barrels of salts to keep oh. it quote unquote fresh. About that, there, there's actually a fish dish that's kind of cooked with salt <laughs> and uh, is it? You take a fish, cover it salt, wrap it up, and you bury it in the ground deep. Okay. Or, uh, maybe not deep, but at least enough to not to make sure nothing digs it up. And Ink's being silly because now she's trying to lay down. I'll just make a quick picture. I think it's called earthed baked fish. Okay. For <clears> apparently, <throat> when you plug it up, you should be should be able to eat it right away. Okay, let's do one more day and then we'll probably call it on this and the stream. A bit early, but I don't think we can fit the next one in 20 minutes. Uh, let's see. Hello, I see you recently opened. I'm also an alchemist, but I'm just passing through <coughs> passing through town. I'm collecting some ingredients and selling alchemy equipment, so I decided to drop in. I'm running light hits right now and only have enchanted paper with me, but if you need to expand your recipe book, you can buy a couple sheets. Yeah, you can expand this... Yep, obviously there's more room by buying paper from him. Uh, but it is very pricey, as you can see. Question. Am I the only one who thinks, like, what if this looks fancy, but ain't having bottles strapped to your chest like that actually kind of stupid? Uh, if you trip and fall, then, yeah, you're getting doused with whatever is in there. And glass. Yeah, okay, putting the picture on the Discord... Okay, come on, there and there. Imagine just slipping, falling over, and accidentally <laughs> open, triggering a fire potion, an ice potion, and, and a, a lightning potion, potion. <laughs> and a lightning potion all on your chest at the same time. Fuck off with your and fire one. Glass pots. Let's see. All my firewood is damp. I don't know how I'm going to make a fire in my oven now. Can you help me out with a potion? Okay, so she wants a fire potion. Let's go look pizza? this other way. 
Hey, hey pizza, you, you doing well? Uh, let's see, I start. I see Star raided you guys earlier. Yeah, Marco brought yeah. them over. And all, I, I'll be honest, I almost did spoil too much of Higurashi. I had to stop myself. I hope I did spoil too much, but there's a lot I did not mention. I want to leave it at that. For, that's it. I like the show. I like it. Now, I, I in general like animes, but I, I find that the lots look rather... Um, a, a lot of them end up looking rather the same, especially the slice of life stuff. So I have little interest in those. And a little thing to note here, we went from a one potion to a two potion because we got closer to the center of the little of the effect. So this one is going to be stronger than it'd be well if it were on the other side. So this is a level two fire potion. Let's save that recipe, finish the potion, and sell that. Stronger potions are, of course, going to sell for a lot more. So Makes there we sense. go. And we have another merchant. It's nice to see new phases in these parts. I suppose you're the new alchemist? Wonderful. I'm the local mushroomer. If, you see an al if you're an alchemist, then you must know quality ingredients when you see them. I have a few mushrooms here. Will you take a look? Are you Wait, ever selling things? Actually, is that actually the name of the profession? Mushroomer? I guess. Someone who specializes in foraging mushrooms. No poly mushrooms, but I have the best. Uh, Let's it. see. Yeah, I agree with Perry. I like it. And maybe good. And oh, I see what you mean. I mean, I like anime with actual good story and plot. I do like some slices of life, but I not do much too many. Only the ones that actually interest me. Yeah. But most of them actually see. manga than anime. Oh. My head really hurts and it keeps me, it's keeping me awake. Do we have some kind of sleeping rod that can help me? Okay, so we have to go look for that now. Uh, let's see. Right. Let's I have head seen straight high school up. DXD. I no, I, I, I've not heard of that when I was thinking High School of the Dead, but you no, know, that's something that completely one different. I've also seen. I, I just saw that one on YouTube. Huh. Yeah, I've also seen High School of the Dead. It was actually one of the anime I saw in high school, believe it or not. <laughs> I was in dorm, uh, a dorm school. Well, my see. school had a dormitory, so I lived in the dorm just to not have to spend two hours every day back and forth. Uh, that would have to be four hours then. In my case, we didn't have dorms, so it was more of a... But I also didn't live too far from home. I, I mean, Where? I didn't live Swiftness. not too far from the school. Let's see. Do not look up high school DXT on stream opponents. Yeah, maybe we'll not do that for... Uh, Many reasons. Like I don't think we want. Uh... One thing that is uh, kind of annoying: High School of the Dead and Black Lagoon were actually on Netflix, but they got removed. Okay. Oh. Mm. I do, luckily, I have Black Lagoon on DVD already since before that, so I am lucky in that way. In regard. Yeah, I gotta find a way to get Black Lagoon on like. DVD or whatever. And now we're kind of stuck in this direction because we have, well, we have only stuff that goes in small directions like this. So, let's see. As you go into these areas, the potion bottle will drain. And if it gets drained completely, then, yeah, potion ruins. So, let's get something that gets out of this. Uh, let's see, Power Suit. The first season was uh, actually really like Black Lagoon. The first season was really nice. I feel like High School of the Dead had a good premise but just fails flat. Like, from what I heard, that show is almost a hentai or something, or maybe I just misheard. A little fan service. Yeah. I do like the story. Fan service is horrible, dude. There's some fans I do feel like, since I've got older, may have been a bit unnecessary. But I did enjoy watching it. For I did have some good losses out. However, I recommend to only watch the. Normally, I don't care if people watch dubbed or sub. But so far, I would recommend English list for. I saw one episode in English, and they completely changed the samurai girl's personality in English ver version, which I think was fan dub. She was. 
Japanese version is polite, well mannered. English version, she drops the f bomb almost non stop. Yeah, of course. Every I think that's actually practically everyone on the English dub. But yeah, if I'm honest, uh, well, I don't particularly care about. Like the whole ing, like the whole dub versus sub thing, I really don't care as a personal preference thing. I would recommend if you decide to watch High School of the Dead to watch it subtitled. Yeah, that as well. There's pros and cons. Like, I'm sweet. We are used to read subtitles. We're used to it. And sometimes it is good for you watching an English movie with Swedish subtitle. And there's always a little sound outside. At least you've read what they said. And so yeah, you're this not is where out yeah. that way. This is where the annoyances with this game can come in, where you just need to be, you're asked for a certain type of potion, and you just need to go look and get lucky with trying to find it, or well, oh, look God. up a guide on where it is and such. Yeah, I remember seeing YouTubers really struggle with this and really try to find a way to do it smoothly. <laughs> yeah, that's strength. Let's let's check the other way. And after well, if we find this potion or not, let's call it after that. So let's just throw a few fire bells in here. Let's see. But yeah, but yeah I'm with Dog. I don't care for sub or dub. It, it almost depends on how what quality either of them are. Yeah, or if the... Yeah. <laughs> it is a personal preference, but in some cases it is, well, just better to do, try and find the uh, the original way it was supposed to go because, uh, yeah, with like Card Captor Sakura, the the four kids dub and such, and four kids should already be a giant red flag, they, uh, they butchered that quite hard. They completely changed things up uh, around, well, basically everything in that. Oh, don't forget about the Sailor Moon thing. Or rather, <laughs> oh, yeah, American the, the cousins. <laughs> the yeah. inexplicable cousins where they didn't even bother to remove any of the Michiru and Haruka's um, romantic feelings. Yeah. yeah. Text, so it just came off as incest. <laughs> yeah, they made it worse. And apparently... Like... Oh, so gone. It's like, you know, we can either have lesbianism or they can be cousins. Okay, if we're going to make them cousins, we're going to have to remove, like, a good chunk of that. Nah, just say they're cousins. It's fine. It's like, you know, it's going to make it look like incest, right? Uh, bloody fools. Uh, Actually, I had to look right. something recently. With H.O., we have see recently seen yeah. uh, Owl House. Uh, yeah, I, I remember. Uh, what happened? What did they do? Uh, hopefully, it, it, the main character was to uh, ask out another female character, both are female, uh, women. I don't know if I say, I say female, both are women. I want to do go to a school prom. This is just sweet. However, in the Chinese version, uh, it's really dumb. It's more like it, asking if they want to go to study together in a non-romantic way as possible while doing very romantic gestures. Yeah, some countries are still just utterly stupid about stuff like that. Yeah, it's just I just saw it. They had someone translate what they were saying in the Chinese version. They just felt, really? <laughs> really? Uh, but yeah, that was potion <laughs> crafts. I would say that mm, I I would say a no on potion craft because it really doesn't have that much story and it can get really annoying with trying to find the effects that people want. Though of course we could just tell them to piss off, but it will cost us reputation and such. <clears throat> yeah, if an alchemist game, I would always, I would always recommend atelier, the atelier games. Problem is, some of them heavy time limit that you are going to fight against, sort of. Okay. This, <clears throat> this means that if you make too many mistakes, you will be stuck in a bad ending or something. 
Okay, so like Persona and such. Yeah, no shorter. Let's see. Pyro Sue as a young man just blossoming into manhood. Those action anime were <laughs> with the fan service was awesome. Now I watch hentai where it skips all the wrong scenes just to see what's really going on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind fan service still to this day. Just I I prefer it to not be overdone. Yeah. So to speak. Uh, pizza went lurking. Uh, thank you for <laughs> wishing a good stream. Correctly. And this is something that I can barely remember. But if I remember correctly, the guy who drew the original manga did also draw hentai for, like... The guy who drew the original manga of High School of the Dead, I mean. Okay. So that explains a fair Think. amount of, like, character proportions. Actually, yeah. that's actually how many manga artists start. They start yeah. doing hentai or erotic an uh, manga. Yeah, because it gets it's a lot of attention. Yeah, but also it gives them a bit more a capital to start working on better stuff. And the way also, Ink is laying now uh, cannot be comfortable, even for a damn yeah, cat. Probably. But then again, cats are liquid, so you know. Yeah, <laughs> I think you uh, took offense. If I re also remember correctly, the manga for High School of the Dead effect effectively, like, got not cancelled, but more like ended without ending because the original writer died of a heart condition and oh. the artist just didn't want to continue without the writer so they effectively just put it on like they effectively just cancelled it okay. yeah that is unstable and tragic that, that is kind of sad to hear and <laughs> it happens yeah. sadly enough yeah okay. like he was actually coming like he was actually coming up with plans like finish up but of course the like i said the writer died and he just didn't want to continue without like the writer so you know the whole thing just got quietly shut down yeah, that, yeah. There's, there's probably a little more tragic than an unfinished story yeah because yeah even if it's even if originally it would have ended absolutely horribly there's still just all the lost potential <clears throat> Well, uh, yeah. Uh, let's go over the games we showcased today because we've been forgetting to do that lately with these. So yeah, yeah. Play. actually, heard something. Just uh, mm -hmm. lost bit. Many manga books and manga teachers usually advise people who want to get into drawing manga and such to actually look into yeah books about nude art and such to learn anatomy. For they actually recommend even to look at porn for that. Okay, that's this one is, way to do it, yeah. This kind of makes sense for you. You go for nude body, then you put the underwear, then the shirt. In that, if you feel like that, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, instead of just Barbie dolling every character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. We okay. have Plate Up, which uh, nice for party streams. Uh, oh, right, this. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to end <laughs> <Sorry>. stream. <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, uh, play, played up, uh, possibly for party streams, just for the utter mayhem of four idiots trying to run a restaurant and utterly failing. <clears throat> um, I, 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 I would mind. somehow love to see rum on it. <laughs> I would also love to see myself on it, but I gotta check. But most of all, I like the idea of a, a quote-unquote, Romsey Ramsey. <laughs> no, that, that came up sheesh and unexpected. <laughs> Romsy Ramsey. <laughs> that, that is with my brain. That's horrible. Gordon Romsey. <laughs> oh, that works probably better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pyro, oh dang, I literally came into the last 30 minutes of stream again. Uh, actually, we would have missed the complete, uh, the entirety of the stream because we were originally supposed to start an hour earlier, but I overslept because my sleep schedule is still fucked. <laughs> More fucked than most hand time. Uh, oh, come on! <laughs> but yeah, there, there's always the VODs uh, afterwards, Pyro, if you're interested in seeing the other Ooh. games. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> that's a straight up mood, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Feel free to quote me on that one. Uh, Poker Night at the Inventory could be a, a little mayhem game as well, but it's only single player, so I don't think it'd be as interesting. But yeah, we're going to raid someone in a bit soon. Portal 2? 
It, it, the game has been streamed to hell and back by just about everyone and their grandmother on the internet, but I'm still willing to give it a shot and see how, well, you react to everything, Edric, here. Uh, about I have seen pure play yet, sorry. Both okay. games. <laughs> well, we'll see what you remember and not. Uh, yeah, but Portal is a classic. We could maybe even do Portal 1. Speaking of Portals, Portal Knights... Mm, eh, I might try to get into it again at some point, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just better games out there. Yeah, like it's not bad. Just maybe not for everyone. Yeah. Definitely and... good at the recommendation for younger audience. Yeah. Uh, Post Mouse. Uh, I I wouldn't be against streaming that at one point for its story. It's probably going to be rather yeah. simple, but it's probably very charming as well. Yeah, you just need to look at how long it's. It, it's I have a feeling it's probably be a short game. Probably. I'll look up how... To... Actually, I can do that right now. Uh, let, let's see. I should have that open somewhere in here. So, search tabs. It how could work as a side long... quest. Yeah, how long to beat. Post, mouse, and ink is still in the way. Hmm. Okay, it's, it hasn't been tried that long, or many times, it seems, judging from the colors. But they all say about one hour. Which I don't... I'm guessing that's if you know where you're going, so that's probably more like three or four, maybe. Yeah, we could do okay. that as a side thing. Yeah, that's definitely probably... might be one of the shortest side things we have. Yeah. And last but not least, Potion Craft. It's a nice little game, but I think two hours of that at a time is probably a bit more than would be enjoyable for most people to watch or play. Yeah, like, nice it, little it concept, really but frustrations are underneath the, the surface. Yeah, so it, it probably works better on YouTube than on Twitch. Yeah, with a guide for where the hell to find all it. And even then, probably more for the references and such, because sometimes you'll have characters like freaking Geralt the Witcher show up. Oh, good God. <laughs> okay. But for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So I'm changing the screen share to Twitch. And let's see, we have Redacted Cat who is playing Super Metroid. Isaiah Rozier is playing Pseudo Regalia. Sour Rollers with Fears to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Okay, I think we've heard of that series before, if that isn't the same game. Let no, me double check that longer. everything. Uh, it's definitely not that, yeah, mm -hmm. which has been very popular lately. Uh, let's see, Pizza, I see you guys are ending. Might I suggest a person to raid? Go ahead. I'll still go over the other people here just for the courtesy. Uh, Grim the Wolf is just chatting at the moment. The, the hot sauce stream. Uh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Not going to ask there. Touch Steely Tail is playing Silent Hope. Playing some roguelikes and jamming with friends. Let me take a peek at that. Is it muted? Yep. Okay, looks a bit Final Fantasy like. The Chibi Final Fantasies, that is. So, Crystal Chronicles. Hmm. Okay. And. Uh, we have Dugga Douglas McDog, who is, you know, is playing customized uh, or player-made uh, Tomb Raider levels from the look of it. And Horatius the Dwarf is having a is holding a lecture on idolization and parasocial relationships. Okay, that, that's something that people should probably learn more about because there's a you know, parasocial relationship are basically just one-sided stuff. That, uh, to name it in its harshest form, think stalkers. But just where... Yeah. Basically, one person is just really, uh, yeah, thinks they are in a relationship with someone who, well, doesn't even know their bloody existence such often. It's something that uh, a lot of streamers and online celebrities have to deal with. <clears throat> and let's uh, see. Yeah. Jellificent. I think you've mentioned them before, I think. So let's see. Jellificent. There. They are playing Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. Uh, yeah, should we rate them or anyone, any of the other ones? So Jim Ginger is playing Dark Souls 3 now. It's a, it's a red little yelly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to need to use the right control here because ink is laying over the other one. So there, copy the name, head to our place. Well, anyways, good luck, guys. See you later. Have a good night. Okay. See you, Rom.
And thank you and for yeah. joining. Uh, yeah, if you are still available later, we can try L.A. Noir. In two hours? About. But yeah, later. you can poke us about that. See ya. See ya. Okay. Raids, pastes. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching Now or Later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Pyro Sue. Thank you, Marco and Smepperoni. And of course, Starnak for the raids. <laughs> And let's see, Welp, uh, it was fun being here. See you soon. Remember to stay hydrated, definitely. And yeah, it, with luck, we'll be able to continue with L.A. Noir later. If not, we'll continue with and probably finish Whispering Willows. So, okay. yeah. Possible games. So for now, let's start up that raid. Okay. And yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and Helian's experimental potions.